Hey kids, welcome to Guitar Fever LA. It's your Uncle Fabian did. Uh, today we're gonna talk about the JHS color box, man. JHS color box. Yep, I've been using this. I love using this. Uh, it gives me great distortion, and um, it gives me a, um, a great recording sound. I love to use this. And I bought it because, you know, I saw the documentary on Sound City and I got all into the Neve console and I wanted to get that kind of sound. And so this popped up. I'm sure maybe that's what Josh was thinking too. Maybe he saw the documentary and this popped in his mind. And, and um, I saw a video of him the other day where he said that like this kind of changed his life. It's one of his pedals where he found it a success and he kind of said that um, it's kind of one of his original pedals. Not that he's a you know, not that he's copying people, because everyone, no one invented guitar pedals. But he says that this one changed his life in the sense that it, it, it was his idea, and there was nothing like it before it. And then he went on to be successful. And I used it, and um, I was, um, I was so happy with it that I was looking for a second one, you know, to run in stereo or to use on this computer, because I, I have to, I have another laptop where I record. And so I wanted to record with um, two of these. So I went online, I looked for it, and um, I went to Sweetwater, and Sweetwater was like, unavailable. And I was like, unavailable? Like, how could that be? Is like, uh, did they, um, is there a Christmas rush? Why is it unavailable? I looked into the 500 series, and I didn't even know what 500 series was until um, I looked into those, because I couldn't find this one. And that one was unavailable, wherever I looked, and then, I went to eBay to find it used because I always look for things new first. Um, like things like this, especially when it's brand, brand new. Like this is like a couple years old. And so I went on eBay and there were some crazy prices for this pedal. People wanted like 650 and up. And this pedal originally was like 400 bucks. So from 400 bucks, they wanted like 650 and up, some ridiculous prices. And I was like, oh man. And I'd watched a video where Josh talked about killing pedals, and this one wasn't on there, so I was like, hmm, what's going on? And I read some of the comments as well, and people were said the same thing. They're like, hey, what's going on, Josh? Did, like, you kill this pedal, or what? Well, I can't find it either. And so I read that online. And so, um, lo and behold, like, on Thursday, on November 14th, I think it was, this pedal was replaced by the version 2. The version two of this, which um, has more EQ and it has um, a clean section, because this is only distortion. Because this distorts and it's like a Marshall amp; it gets clean, but it's clean. It's not a full clean. Uh, you know, when you're working in a studio, you want to have both. You know, you want to have the option of doing it both. You know, you want to be able to do up and down, and right and left, and so. Now I feel like I'm being left out, you know, because this took me a while to save up for, you know, like to get to be number 1299 because I was right behind you, number 1300. I was right before you, Mr. 1300. Um, it took me a while. And once I got it, I was like, at first I thought it was broken because it kind of like it has like this ghost distortion, like this ghosty distortion cool thing that it does. And I thought it was broken. I was almost ready to send this back. And I was like, oh, man. And then I, I looked more into it. And I was like, it's supposed to... It doesn't really have a clean section, is what I found out. And so the color box, the JHS color box, uh, has a, a transformer, a London... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Can you see that? Oh, it's up here. Feeding it to the wrong monster. Is my light blowing it out? Oh my god, did that light move? Did that light might have moved. So now there's a version two, and I feel like those people that are like, I bought the first iPhone, and I'm like, yeah, hey, yeah. And then the second one comes out, and it has different apps and different features, and same thing with this one. Like, now I'm like, oh, uh, I want to get both now. I want to get two of these, two of the new one, two of the 500 series, because I'm a collector. And once you get into collecting, you just want to get them. And the thing about this one, and that the new one doesn't have, that this one, is that this one doesn't do phantom power. So if you have a microphone and you want to plug this in, it doesn't do phantom power. 
but neither does a new one. It doesn't power it, but it lets you go through it and it lets you go into whatever interface you're using that has uh, phantom power. This will let you go through, 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 and get power from like your your through, 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 through. This will let you get power from your from your interface, and your interface will power it, and it goes right through. Not this one, the version two. So that's what this one. So this one doesn't have phantom power, neither does the new one, the version two. But version two lets you get power from your interface or whatever from your interface, which is really cool because I used to for this one I set it up with I have a dedicated um, adapter that I have to plug in with a wall wart, and then, you know it's like not cool. So yeah, so the new one I feel like a a little jealous, you know, and I feel a little, a little cheated. I don't know. You ever feel tighted? You ever feel tighted? Tighted? Yeah, I feel a little cheated because, like, um, cause it's almost like you created me first. Why is there someone better than me? Why? You know what I mean? You kind of know the story. You know what I'm talking about? So, yeah, when you get something first and then something else comes out, you feel a little envious, you know? Like when you buy a Mustang and the next model or the Corvette or the Ferrari and the next year comes out and it's a little bit faster, a little bit sleeker, and you're just like, I should have waited. I should have waited. But you can wait forever, you know, and you won't buy something. I should have waited. I should have waited. Color box, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. I like it. Um, The only things I don't like my biggest pet peeve with this pedal is this switch switch right here these two switch 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 one is to switch from instrument to xlr and the other one is a 20 minus a cut it's not even a boost it's a cut so like if you're i guess it's a pad would you call a pad if it's too hot if your signal's too loud you can lower it and um look at look at look at how small they are and um, to get in there, I have to use like a toothpick and like it's not it's not really working for me and it feels fragile like I'm gonna break it. I wish I had like a little switch like this in a safe spot. And that's my biggest pet peeve because like you'll be, you, you wanna do some vocal and then you wanna plug in an instrument and you know, to do it you have to unplug it so you can see. I wouldn't, you know, like yeah, sometimes you have to get in there to see this. So when you're going down to change something you get blinded, like, whoa, you know, like, all of a sudden you can't see anything. So, yeah, it would be cool if the little light was up here, you know, in between these. Maybe so you can see these in the dark or something. Maybe that would, but not down here. It's too blinding, you know. I like that it's on the side because sometimes when you put it on the top and you're, like, you're looking at it like this, you can't really see. Well, I guess that's why it's over bright, but it's too bright. Okay, maybe it'd be cool if, like, you know, it had a color, you know, like blue or red, you know, you're going with those color schemes already. Put that in there. And, um, yeah, this one lets you go out. I think you could use both outs. You can do, like, a, you come in with either uh, XLR or mon uh, mono phone jack, but you can come out, I think, with both. So, do what you will. So, yeah, I do recommend it. But yeah, it's a crazy price tag online, like I said. Um, I, oh, I went online recently, and a lot of those prices were gone, all those, like, zany prices. There are some that are, st I think it's still on for 500 but I think that's a reasonable price for this pedal now that it's discontinued. And the new one might be 400 but, like, there's always, like, the person that's going to say, this one sounds better. I, not better, but different than the one with two transformers. The new one has two transformers. It has Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. The last one only had Optimus Prime. And so, you know, and someone's going to be like, well, I don't like the other one. And they changed it. There's always that person, you know. They don't like the new Coke. So there's always going to be the person that wants the old one, you know. Or now they're a collector and they have to have both, you know. Like, I want two of these, you know, so I can run things in stereo. So, yeah, I really like this. And I do recommend it, especially if you're into audio, you know, and if you're into the Neve, if you saw Sound City and you're like, and you know who Rupert Neve is and you understand, like, the the history behind this pedal. Yeah, Josh went all the way to Abbey Rose to do a video for this pedal. He, he invested a lot into it because I can only imagine that how, how much he probably rented it for, like, half a day maybe, you know, a couple of hours maybe, and he was in there in and out, and, like, you know, who knows what they charge for an hour at Abbey Road. You probably got to buy a blog. You probably can't just come in and go, yeah, I'd like to buy 10 minutes of Abbey Road time. And so, yeah, and the new one, 
It runs on 9 volt battery. This one I think is 18 volt battery. It has an adapter and I haven't checked, but uh, I'm almost pretty sure that it's 18 volt. But if it's not, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't look it up. Uh, you know what? I'll put it on the screen if it is or whatever. And so, so the new one's 400. They're taking pre orders, you know, on uh, reverb for uh, free shipping, but you're probably going to have to pay some of that um, sales tax stuff they got going on now. But, yeah, I do want the next one. I do want it. I do want it. I'm like, I'm keeping this one, you know. I'm like, so I might just use this one as a pedal and use the new one as, you know, for recording. That's kind of like where I'm seeing this going. But, um, yeah, Josh, um, I'm a little envious, you know. I feel a little, like, oh, left behind. I got to, like, start saving up my pennies again. And I got to get the next one. So the color box. Or is it the color box? Color box. Oh, it's such a beautiful color. <laughs> color. Okay, so Fabian dead out. So your uncle Fabian dead out. Have a good time. Don't hurt anyone. Don't don't install anybody. Cut the trash. Take out the grass. You know, be a good kid. It's almost Christmas. So remember. Color box. Color. It's that thing. Color. It's that thing that should be called color. Color box. Okay. it out. My spaceship in the station. We're falling down a hole, and no one seems to notice. <laughs>